I was given this life as a uh, kind of part payment for helping a friend clear his father's hoard that he'd been amassing for 50 years or so. He found this buried, asked if I could have it, he let me have it. Um, I don't actually know who made it, there is a distributor or a seller's like there, but that's not the manufacturer. Uh, it's surprisingly in good condition. Um, it's still dirty, uh, needs a good clean. I'm not going to keep it, I'm just getting it running so I can sell it. I don't have the room. Um, had a few problems, missing teeth on the back ears. The teeth here were broken and um, I braced it up and remachined them. Uh, everything pretty much I'm doing around here, it's my first time at everything, so it worked out okay. Um, the thing with this is that it was an overhead drive system, so the belt was originally driven by police on the ceiling or against the wall or something. So I've been modifying it to be self-contained as far as drive goes. So what I had to do was grind down the casting there to clear the pulleys so the belt can come this way. And I've made a huge bracket for um, everything to hang off. This is what came with it. These are the drive pulleys and brackets. Now the thing is they're independent and they're self-aligning to a degree. So just putting them through a rod isn't enough. They twist when you apply any sort of belt pressure to them. So I've made, I've machined a couple of flats in there, tapped it on both sides. And these 10 mil thick brackets bolt to it and keep it rigid so that you can um, so it doesn't twist when you tighten up the belts. The, um, the thing's been chewed up a bit, but it's still fine. It's for the drive pulley. It's, that's the original drive pulley, I think. Well, it's fine anyway, that I'm using. I had that motor left over from another project. It's an old sort of cadet with one horsepower um, induction motor. It works well, so I'm putting that on with the two belts. That also mounts the motor to that shaft, this is, this is the shaft, they, the thing with this belt system is that the motor and the pulleys, well that pulley need to be um, independent of each other so you can adjust the belt tension and then that whole assembly needs to be independent of the, um, the leather drive pulley again so you can adjust the tension of that. So what I did is um, I made a tensioning handle, overkill, but I just machined something up, cut up some 20 mil thick steel, and I also got a big, um, what do you call it, turnbuckle, 16 mil meter turnbuckle. It was very long. I could have used the 12 mil, I guess, it would have been better, but I just cut it up, shortened it and to join the two halves just uh, grabbed a piece of um, hollow 50 mil by 3 mil I think um, tubing and crushed it in the press to make it oval till the ends would slide in and I've just welded everything up and it works fine um, to mount it so that it pivots at each end I machined an eyelet on that side which goes in there and then this assembly here mounts in these slots like that so what I'll do is I'll just start assembling it and show it bit by bit so this is partly assembled I've got the motor mount down there and you can see these pulleys don't have anything tying them together uh, so now I'm going to fit the braces. So here we have the two tensioners for the two braces and that bottom bolt is the tensioner for the twin pulleys from the motor to the drive pulley. And that's the top brace there, it's been cut away to clear the belt obviously. Now I'm at the tensioner. This is part of the um, tensioner that 
is milled to fit that particular slot. As you can see, where is it? There it is. There it is. This fits up on the other side, like so. Right, so here's the tensioner. There's a pivot here, a pivot there, and a pivot there. I didn't realize at the start when I milled it, but I couldn't mill it anyway. I had to add a little piece of metal here to act as a stop. It works like this. So when you're changing speeds, you can pull up, and that slackens the belt. And then when you want to tighten it, you go past the, the parallel, so it's a bit uh, low being in line, and that locks it in place on the tension. And then you just change speeds. I'm quite pleased with how that worked out. And here we have it. It's pretty quiet. It shakes a little bit, but there's no real vibration there. I think it's okay. The belt's got to bed in a bit because I had to join our glue, uh, glue it together to make it one. But yeah, there you go.